Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. This week I have kind of like an art vlog for us. So I'm gonna be traveling across the state in my 1969 Barracuda. Um, yeah, across the state there's some really beautiful scenic areas and I took lots of photos. So we're gonna be painting those together with the landscape watercolor set. So uh, yeah, let's just go ahead. <laughs> For those of you that don't know me on a personal level, I'm sure that this seems very out of the blue, and I'm fully aware that watercolors and muscle cars normally don't go together. But this week, they're gonna have to, because we're taking the Barracuda 200 miles round trip from Tucson to Bisbee. Bisbee is an old mining town, it has a ton of really cool historic buildings, and lots of antique cars too. It always helps to travel in long distances with friends, and luckily we have some awesome friends who have a vintage VW bus and also a vintage Cadillac. So Tucson and Bisbee have very different landscapes and a ton of different foliage as well. Even our mountains look very different from each other. So I knew that this was going to be a wonderful opportunity to take some more photos and do some landscape paintings from those with my watercolor set. I'm still trying to get some more practice in, and this would be a good opportunity to paint a landscape that's not fantasy. This weekend we're staying at a place called the Shady Dell, and we've stayed here before. They have a ton of vintage airstreams, cool old buildings, lots of antiques, and just an overall really cool vibe here. So here's a look inside our vintage trailer that we're staying in, and as you can see, extremely adorable trailer. <laughs> it is pretty cool to see the Barracuda parked next to a trailer from around the same era as well. So this was a lot of my inspiration for some of the stuff that I'm going to be Painting. And I did actually bring my art supplies here to paint, but unfortunately by the time we got here, we started losing light, and admittedly, like, I'm not very much of a plein air painter, so it worked out better for me just to take reference photos and paint them back at home, or have a little bit of a better camera setup so that you guys can see what I'm doing. So my intention for these paintings is just kind of to practice doing landscape. It was my goal for this year to work on my weaknesses, and one of my weaknesses is definitely landscapes. I don't do a lot of them, and um, I essentially just want to capture, like, the feeling of the surrounding. I'm not doing, like, a super technical painting or anything like that. I just want to, like, play around with the colors and see if I can kind of just capture the mood. Um, this painting is probably too small for all the details and stuff in it. If I was going to do a more finished painting, I would probably go like double the size at least, just so I could get a lot more details in there. So consider these kind of sketches. For this one, my point of emphasis is the Cadillac in the middle of the painting. And I really like this composition, kind of like looking through the buildings. It's really interesting how the roof's pointed downwards towards the car. There's just like a lot of angles in this, and it somehow doesn't look, uh, I don't know, too contrived. So I was excited to paint this one, and I just had fun with it. I kept it really loose, and I'm just using the landscape palette here with a little bit of white gouache. I can't get away from the gouache. I, I, I like opaque things way too much, and all the colors in this set are pretty transparent, so the opaque um, addition just really helped me feel like I could layer things up and not have to worry about preserving my whites of the paper too much. Overall, I think that this one came out pretty good. I'm happy with the overall feeling it gives, and for being so small of a painting with like a ton of little details, um, I still think it doesn't look too clustered or busy or anything, but you guys will have to let me know what you think. For my next source of inspiration, uh, I was walking around the trailer park at night, and it looked really eerie and cool. Um, really awesome underlightings from the trailers. 
So I knew I definitely had to paint one of these, and I probably will end up painting all of these. I have a whole bunch of other photos, but these are my favorite. Um, I just like that kind of surreal look <laughs> that they have. So um, I chose one of the more simpler photos from the bunch, and I'm just sketching it on a watercolor block here. And again, if I was going to do a more finalized illustration of this photo, I'd probably use a ruler and spend a lot more time on my sketch and everything, but uh, this is really just for me to play around with the landscape set and see what I can do. Speaking of which, I decided to actually not use the landscape set for this one because there was so much black in the reference photo, and because it kind of has that spooky look to it, like... Um, a UFO could come at any moment, which I just love. I decided to go for the Black Oxide set, and I think that it works really well. So if you're doing a night scene and you want a lot of black, this is a pretty cool set for that. I wanted the granulations to kind of mimic some of the leaves that you see in the trees in the background, but also it helped me out with gravel in the foreground. I was able to get a lot of texture without having to try too hard. This is only a 5 by 7 painting, so, you know, there's not a ton of room to be painting little tiny details in there. But a little bit of white gouache combined with some brown and then that black granulation, I think really helped kind of sell that textured look in the foreground. It was really interesting to mix that muddy color that was cascading over the siding of the trailer as well. It's kind of cooler in the back warmer in the front, and then just subtle variations where the stripes need to go. I'm just using a ruler here to take my piece of paper off the block. And I just adore this subject matter. I'm definitely going to paint from the other nighttime reference photos that I took. Besides these two paintings, I decided to do one more, although I did take a lot of different photos, and here's just a couple that I took that I thought you guys might like to see. We went into town uh, in a place called Lowell. <laughs> it's a really small town, but they have a ton of cool stuff, including some beautiful scenery. So I chose this photo here to do a painting of. And I decided to crop it a little bit, but I the reason I was compelled to use this photo was because I really enjoyed all the blue and orange in it. Um, it's just a very pretty combination. And normally when I paint landscapes, I really struggle with painting the sky. I don't know what it is. I feel like I can't ever capture the deepness of the blue. So if you guys have any tips on that, please let me know. Um, inside this set is a cerulean blue and an ultramarine. And um, I don't know, it just looks really flat to me. So if you guys have any tips, definitely let me know. But in this photo, I ended up having to mix a lot more dark shadows than in the first natural light photo. So I ended up using the Burnt Sienna Ultramarine Blue and the Violet in this set to get those really deep, almost black tones. And at first when I was painting landscapes with this set, I was doing like fantasy stuff and I wanted that solid black, but it's really nice to have a black that has more color in it. It just gives it a little bit more dimension, helps it look a little bit more real, even though this is kind of a loose rendition of what real is. I was pretty loose with this one. Overall, I had a really nice time on this road trip, and my husband always gives me a hard time because I always find a way to bring my work into vacation but I just can't help myself. I just love painting, and it was really fun to combine that with another one of my passions, which is my car. So I'm just gonna let a couple uh, clips play of us driving home, and <laughs> thanks for watching this kind of like strange combination of things. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Definitely let me know if you want to see more of the Barracuda. I'd love to do more art vlogs. I don't know if this really counts as one. Anyway, I'm gonna go, and uh, thanks so much for watching my video, guys. I hope that you have a wonderful week.